Welcome back to Geiselsberg for episode 3 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, 20 past 5 in the evening over on our field 39. The oats have been harvested. Uh, we've got swath in the ground, so I'm going to start baling on that. I don't have a baler yet. Uh, money's gone up to 110,000 because we've been paid by Farmit Inc, um, uh, Lunatic Calm, for the 10 silage bales. I do still, he said I would also get, was it the next 32,000 litres of milk in payment. So we'll get that for the silage bales. Um, James, the 25 silage bales have been collected and I'm waiting on 200,000 litres of manure. How and when that's going to be delivered, I'm not too sure at the moment. And um, what I'm going to do is take the oats and we'll put them into storage. The harvester, I'm going to leave the header on the trailer there because the next job I've got to get on with is for um, uh, KJ Wiggums and that was field 55 which is just south of here, just down past those trees. I need to clear the field of crop and then it needs to be ploughed and prepped for the next crop that's going in um, because he wants wrapped bales but they've got to be black wrapped but the field has got to be prepped in a very particular way. They've got to be organic bales I'm not sure why, but they've got to be, uh, it's got to be ploughed, manure spread, cultivated, grass planted and then slurried um, to get the particular type of bales that he wants over there. So the harvest will be going over there, but I don't have, I think it's sunflower in that field. I don't have a sunflower header. Um, so we're going to have to lease a sunflower header. I'm also going to have to lease or buy, I think we're going to buy, actually yes we can buy. I'm going to buy a square baler. We will get a round baler as well for doing silage bales because I want to get a wrapper. And I did say, because I used the um, coon one, it was the coon baler wrapper, isn't it? Yeah, um, that I was going to buy one. And obviously since then, uh, the local class dealership that Jeremy sells um, Lexians from have got, let's get some lights on. Um, they do have the new, is it the Roland? Isn't it the Roland? So potentially we could get the Roland. Um, obviously lots of people now are getting class machinery in game but we'll see we'll drip feed some in um, right we're gonna go hang on right in there what did I do so I've got a complete power failure I know what I did I didn't press indicated did I but I very cleverly press my light button and not my indicator so right so let's get this down we'll get this unloaded then we'll get a harvester a sunflower header we'll get on with the doing that i'll get that started and i'll probably see you in the morning i'm also thinking about i know the lin track's a little trusty little thing but what i might do is sell the lin track and might get again i know it's more class stuff and people are probably doing the whole oh not more class stuff but that little loader the small taurian will be perfect for the pig farm I was talking the other day, wasn't I, about what to do over there. And we've got the front loader on that lin track. But I'm thinking the little Torium might not be a bad idea, you know. And I am still debating what to do about this, about the sin track. Much as I like it. And it's a very clever, innovative bit of kit. I think at the moment there's not a, there aren't enough attachments for it. I know obviously once you've got three point link on you can use any front loader attach or three point link attachment equipment and whatever but then you can do that with any tractor can't you I'm just thinking with the on and off of the three point links all the time it can get a little bit fiddly you know and when you want to use equipment you're having to bounce between all the various different attachments I don't know I'm just thinking what we're going to do as a farm I mean it's not my decision to make it so it's Papa's decision it's his farm but We'll see. So I'm gradually working my way through. We have got a contract coming up. Um, one of the local farmers has got a field. That's something that was mentioned. I don't know if it's going to get an update, but that happens quite a lot. It's like lightning flashes on the water. It's a bit weird. Um, only at certain angles, though. It's very, very odd. Um, yeah, they, they've got um, their local church is doing like a harvest. Uh, Halloween type thing um, but they want um, they want a corn maze so in their cornfield which actually isn't far from where we are um, they want a maze made 
That's going to be an interesting one. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to tackle that, but maybe a small cultivator or a front packer or something will need to create a maze in their cornfield. So anyway, that's going to be uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Let's get this into storage. So when we start the horses, I think I'm going to put them in the bottom grass pasture. I'm going to have to put in some stabling for them. We do have some... I need two for Big Papa C and I've got another one for a young lady, a very special young lady who needs a horse. We'll get onto that contract when we get onto the horses. I will, in essence, do whatever the boss tells me, so... Uh, we want to be on that one, do we? There we go. Let's unload that. Didn't have a huge amount of it, but... I think we're done. Just look in the rearview mirrors. Yeah, looks like it. Fantastic. Right. Uh, so... We're looking all right. I did a little bit of servicing on this. It's going to need a wash, actually, at some point. But let's sort this harvester out. Lights off. Um, that's probably not the best place to leave that, is it? <laughs> not right in the middle of the... No, that's not the best place to leave it. What I need is a drive-through barn, really. And I can kind of... Although, the other thing as well, Bear and Papa mentioned the boss. Um, that, I've got to make sure I offload the uh, trailer when I leave it overnight because I don't want it... We have trouble with... Um, we have trouble locally with hooligans coming around the farms and messing around with farm equipment and moving machinery and just vandalism and that kind of stuff, so... You wouldn't think it in a lovely rural place like this, but it happens. Now, I think I want to check as well is... Just thinking for storage. Yeah, that's the actual bunker side though, isn't it? I'm thinking where to store the manure. Um, Because I don't think the silo takes it. Have to just pile it up somewhere, I guess. I have a massive pile of manure somewhere. Right, okay. Let's go and sort this harvester out. We'll get a sunflower header. We'll go over to KJ Wiggums and we'll get on with that. I think we'll sort out. Um, the bale. Actually, oh, what am I doing? Ignore me. Ignore me. We need to go and sort a baler out. I might as well drive this up, we'll get a baler, we can head over to the field, when I get to the field, then I can swap over into the harvester. Of course I can. Of course I can. Make sure I unhook the correct thing. No, not that. This is what I mean about switching between the items, that one. Because having this, I just unhook the three-point link instead, which I didn't mean to do. Let's raise it up a little bit. Right, lights back on. Right, I'll see you up in a minute. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Right. Work doesn't stop. Otherwise there. I'll get in trouble. It's a good thing as well, I think, about being beholden to jobs um, and, and a boss. So I just do what, you know, what needs to be done. I get my job sheet, get my job specs, get on with it. it takes all the pressure away. That said, as far as I'm aware, we have, you know, I was talking to the boss. I keep saying the boss. Um, I was talking to Papa, and we have well over 100 contracts have come in recently. So we're trying to work out to keep up with them. We have got a contract come in to build a road. You know, I said about driving through the woodland up towards the biogas plant. Um, the farmer that owns some of the forest over there needs some lumber, but has also said about putting a road in to do that. So that's a contract we're going to be looking at. Actually, I can cut across here. I know, well, I know I shouldn't do. I will do.
so we have a used baler has become available that we're going to sort out so let's just get that now no nope, that's not what I wanted they still open yes yeah, half past five they should be okay so we got a Krona big pack 12080 has become available cheapest chips that's only cost us 12 grand so that hasn't if we'd have got a, a, a say a normal a standard square baler we would have been looking at well all of our finances would have gone so uh, how maintenance free this is going to be because like I say it's used it, there might be little things that are going to we're going to have problems with I don't know for definite hopefully not we should be okay one thing I do like about this though the sin track is the horsepower I do like all the computer control stuff inside I do like the maneuverability it's got a lot of pros I mean maybe what we'll do is we'll keep it and just have to get another tractor but again that's going to get pricey we just haven't got the money I might have to just take out a bank loan we'll have to invest and then as we start making money back pay things off maybe that may be our only other option I don't know well we'll we'll work something out like I say the finances aren't my problem they're not my department I haven't got to worry about that too much if it's there and we need to buy it we'll buy it if the boss gives it the all clear and the nod then we'll do it if not we won't it's that simple it's actually not too far to get to it right okay then so there's a little bit of straw there let's turn that on although that's probably not even trying to pick up down if that's not on our land Oh, that picked up. That's right. Okay, so go on doing this, and then we'll get, we'll get the uh, harvester over. I don't know if we're going to harvest. Well, the light's not too bad. It hasn't gone completely. The light is fading, but not too badly. Now, as I said before, I've got quite a lot of contracts coming for bales. If you are still thinking about is submitting a contract, I really can't take on any more baling contracts. I've got so many. Some are specific. Some require rye bales. Some require specifically wrapped or organic bales or you know, uh, some are a mixture of bales, which is going to be a little bit more complicated to do, but we can do them. Um, but we have got, we are inundated with baling contracts. I'm not quite sure why everyone's gone baling mad at the moment, but we do have a few to do. Some are very specific, they want round, some are specific, they want square. That's why we are going to need a square and a round baler. Normally I would just run one baler type, I wouldn't have two. So it might be that what we'll do is we'll lease the round baler every time we need it, but we'll keep, because the square baler is fairly cheap, We'll keep hold of it. I think it's probably the way I'm going to go with it. I don't know. We'll have a think. We're not going to get a huge amount of bales off this, but anything we can bail, we will bail, and then we can gradually start knocking away at some of these contracts because we can store them. I know we'll put them on the farm, we'll put them in a barn, we'll put them somewhere, and then when we've built up a head of hay bales and straw bales and silage bales, then I can start. You know, we'll start looking at what contracts we can fulfil with that. Um, I do have a contract with, uh, where is it, Tyler. Um, Tyler asked for 70,000 litres of manure. And like I said, as it turns out, the payment by James for his 25 silage bales is 200,000 litres of manure. So I can actually get that manure when it gets delivered and I can also help out Tyler for his contract for his manure. Our pigs are producing manure, but we can, we can knock that one on the head actually. Once we get to take delivery of our manure, we can then uh, settle his. So I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be how we're going to do a few of these jobs. I think it's going to be a bit of you know taking from Peter to pay off Paul and that kind of thing. You know. Don't drop off yet. Otherwise, you're going to be right away. Okay. I know what I say. I'll see you in a minute. I really will this time. Promise. There we go. Right, so we're back at the store. I have bought the harvester header and the trailer. Um, I was just I've been told to come here uh, and bring it back so 
I'm just waiting now to find out why. Hello? Yes, boss. No? Okay, yeah, I'm here. Right. Okay. Oh. Right, yeah, no problem. We can do that. Okay. Speak soon. Bye. Well. Okie dokie. We're selling it. Um, we've got a deal on a new harvester. Uh, we're not getting it until the morning. What time is it now? Nearly six o'clock. So that's have to wait. Well, we'll get rid of this. Let's see what we get. Um, and yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, do I need to repair it? No. Let's just sell that. Header will sell for thirty grand. Let's get the harvester in. Okay. Interesting one. I hope whatever we've got coming is not too big because these roads are quite narrow. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit tricky. Right, let's repair that. 7,531 grand. Let's see, that's not too bad, is it? Right. Okay, well, I'll probably see you in the morning. I'm going to take the baler back. Uh, we'll have to get those bales off the field at some point too. Um... Yeah, okay, well, I'll see you in the morning. We'll get over to KJ Wiggum's field and we'll sort out doing some uh, harvesting. I'm intrigued.
It's 7.23 in the morning. We've had some deliveries um, from the local class dealership um, delivered by uh, KJ Williams. Haulage, or trucking and haulage. So, as I said, we were going to be getting something new. Why is that door not showing? That's weird. There we go. Um, yeah, now, Stephen, who runs or is the marketing manager for the local class dealership, had messaged me about some uh, a savings a kind of offer. And it does say, class introductory offer of 15% off your first purchase of any class product with a snowball rollover. And this, it gets a little bit complicated, but... Um, so, for example, this machine that we have just bought... So, we have just bought... Papa has just bought... Um, 15% off that is about 20 grand. I think it was 20,800, something like that. So we get 20,850, I think it was, off of this. And then that rolls over onto the next project, uh, product. Um, if, if, if I've got that correctly. Yeah, so the second item will be reduced by that amount. And then whatever the next item is, you work out 15% of that, that gets taken off of the next item, and it kind of, so it will gradually snowball down, depending on the size of items, of course. If I get smaller and smaller items, then I could use that 20%, or that 15% discount, that 20 grand, and I could buy something for 20 grand, and technically it not cost me anything. That's the theory. Anyway, so that's from Stephen. Um, Jeremy, who sells the class combines, the guy who I'm doing the contract for up on field one and two, um, he's the combine specialist. Stephen's the marketing manager. So, yeah, we've got a good deal on this. So, we're at, what are we on? 115,000. Yeah, not bad. So, selling the other equipment, the actual the TC590 costs more than this did. We have leased a corn header from class for the time being, um, but we did buy the header as well. This is actually a little bit smaller. This is a 5.1 metre header. The TC590 had a 5.5. I thought this was a little bit bigger than... I thought. Well, I thought it was the other way around. It's not, but it's again, that's not too much of a problem. We have also had... Um, our first 100,000 litres of manure has been delivered. We seem to be having problems with delivery guys here around Geiselsberg because the straw that was delivered up at the pig farm was just left in a massive heap. Um, the manure, I wasn't here when it was delivered. I don't know if the boss agreed to this, but it's been dumped round here. Round where, well, I mean, to be fair, we haven't got cows at the moment or anything like that, so it's not the end of the world. That's the first 100,000 litres of 200,000 litres we're going to get. So the next 100,000 litres, I'm assuming, are going to get dumped here. Our... I want to say wheat... I'm sure it's a wheat field here, is ready to harvest, but we do need to get on with that job for KJ Wiggums. Um, I didn't know, I mean, obviously we got the contract from KJ Wiggums to turn the field and he wants silage bales, but I didn't realise, unless it's just for haulage maybe. But anyway, regardless, we have got work to do, so we need to go to field 55 with our new combine. It's very misty this morning, real murky morning. I don't need to take the other header with me because we are doing sunflower. I've got to think, where was field? This is field 55. I think it's this way. I think straight away up here. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, so we'll crack on with this. Uh, yeah, like I said, we, we've got a whole load of work that we need to do as well. So it's going to be a case of trying to. Um, multitask different bits at different times because field 39 the bales need taking off if I harvest our field back there the wheat field when we start with I don't think any of the contracts I've got are asking for wheat I will check through them um, but the straw will we can use for bales as well so we'll bale that then we'll collect the bales off both fields will I get through here that's quite tight there we are we're through I think another reason why we're getting quite a few contracts through uh, because of the, the locality of the new class dealership. Um, I think a lot of people are kind of jumping on the fact that they're doing good deals and they're offering us class machinery and various different things and trials and you name it. I think this is field 55 here, isn't it? Let's have a quick check. It is. Right, so 
Let's open that header up. Right. Oh. No. Harvester. Open up the header. Oh yeah, look. Never actually noticed that before. Turn it on. Let's get this done. Then we're going to need to plough this. Oh, that's the point actually. I need to talk to Big Papa C, don't I? About whether or not I can have the plough in advance. The, uh, the Well, it's the lizard, isn't it? 6 um Now weirdly, this has a, well, it's not weirdly I suppose, the different machines, but this has a smaller head, or header, but it has a larger capacity than the TC590. I'm just thinking we should on this field be able to get... How many bales did KJ Wiggums want? Oh, 24. 24 round wrapped bales. 24 of this? So if we plant grass and fertilise it potentially, yeah, we should do, should we? Fingers crossed. I like to make a good impression, that's why I thought up early. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. We need to look at our bottom field, the grass field, and try and work out if we can fit a all stable in the bottom there. I don't know if we've got the money to do that yet. We'll certainly have a look. It's a good look that. I do like that hazy kind of early morning. Something about it. It's a weird shape field this one, isn't it? Actually there's quite a few of them are actually on this map. So well, those boys from KJ Wiggums, they certainly know how to drive their trucks and they it's narrow and tight and stuff around here, but they got in and out. No problem. Actually, see if I can just swing this round without lifting it. Maybe. Well, this is going to take a little while, I think. Oh, so it's only a small header. Why should we get a fair bit off this, aren't we? I think this has got to be delivered to... I can never remember the name of it, but... Hang on, we'll have a check in a second. Begins with a B, does it? It's the North East Cell Point. It's quite cool, I mean this is my first time since the DLC dropped, nearly a week ago, I did all the kind of um, kind of 
first look at the vehicles and machinery but this is really my kind of first time using one of the bits of equipment um, on a map I'm actually using it and I just think how long it's been waiting for this to happen fantastic it's always nice using a new piece of machinery whether it's old like used or whether it's brand new it's cool it's new to us that's the thing it's new to the farm well, I'm going to need to bring over the uh, tractor with the trailer we'll see if we can when I unloaded um, Um, the oats up on field 39 I had to drop the um, container off the back of the IT runner because the pipe on the TC590 wouldn't reach up to it I don't know if this one this one did look like it had a much steeper angle actually let's uh, switch that let's pull the pipe up that go into a might do I'll have to check when it gets here right I'm going to carry on for a bit when I've got a full tank we'll go over here with the IT runner we'll see if that will fit in um, I then need to sort out, this does need muck spreading first I think isn't it? Ploughed, manure spread, cultivated, I haven't got a cultivator either. Uh, we'll probably have to lease one of those too, okay. I did say there's going to be a lot of leasing going on didn't I? <laughs> we just haven't got the money at the moment to, to buy loads of stuff I don't, without getting bank loans, but again, not my call. We end up getting a bank loan so be it, it's not me that's got to pay it off I just do the work around it ok, got a working gun at the moment has an almost full grain tank so, just get up there get it unloaded up to the store and said if we can't sort ourselves out of plough. Uh, I'm going to miss a turn in. Can I get there quick enough before I get some of the row? Potentially. Yeah, will I get under this? Stop, stop, stop. No, 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 no. no. If you haven't turned, Always run a worker to muck things up, don't you? That looks like it's going to be high enough. Yep, that's just a little bit higher than the 590. Perfect. Oh, brilliant. That's good. I should probably see my problem as well. I think I came at that wrong angle just as it turned. As long as there's no damage to the auger or the trailer, I'll be fine. Or it's coming out of my paycheck. That's the last thing I need. do then, let's try and hook the right thing, disconnect that, let's get to the store, <coughs> if I can get back with a plow, we can maybe crack on with that while the harvesting's continuing, two birds, one stone, all that kind of thing. Right, we've leased the um, Lizard 6M. I've also changed the tyre configuration over. We've gone from narrows back onto wides because we're going to be ploughing. I think we're going to need that. Let's jump back in. Let's do more in place. Let's hook up. Let's get down to the field. 
Like I say, there is a bit of a shortcut here. Now you can go across here, or if you turn here, you can go across the fields. I mean, you need permission from the landowners, obviously. Where is this one here? I'm trying to think where it is. Might the next one. So we've got a plough on the back, so I'm catching on the stuff. So it's, it is very tight, that's why sometimes you're better off just going the normal way. But there we go. Just down here. And if you go across the field. It takes you back down to the track. So you can kind of cut across. You probably shouldn't. But like I say, I've got permission from the landowner. It's all good. We should be back in a second. How's the harvester going to be looking? Whoa! I looked up to see if I could see the harvester and just lost it. It's not doing too bad at the moment. So... Let's open that up. Cool, we are ploughing. Ploughing, ripping. There's a whole manner of things it can be called. <coughs> we'll go with ploughing. Excuse me, my throat's gone a bit. Let's see if we can do a strip round. I think following where the harvester went, then I can go up and down. Just gives me a bit, of, bit of a better turning circle. I'm not sure what's happening with the harvester. My worker seems to be having a bit of a meltdown. That's weird. We are a little bit later on. The harvesting is done. Uh, I've moved the trailer out of the way. That's got to go up to Baywa. It's the Baywa cell point. That's got to be taken to. We're going to finish off ploughing, then we'll deliver that. Then we need to think about what we're going to do because we need to put manure in the ground. We have got some manure, so we can do that. I'm going to need to load it. Uh, we do need a muck spreader, which we don't have. But I can get an IT runner one, I think. Again, we'll lease it, we'll load it, we'll come up and we'll muck spread. We'll be partially through. Then we'll need... Oh, I just say, I thought we haven't got a cedar either. <laughs> ah. Yeah, maybe we are going to be looking at a loan, I think. Because we are going to need a cedar moving forward, aren't we? I mean, to be fair, the John Deere ones are six metres. And they're pretty cheap, so I suppose we could buy one of those. That may, that may, that may be the way forward. <coughs> Although this field does need to be cultivated as well. He was very specific about what he wanted done with it.
Now, this is weird. I'm having a very strange situation with this because the sim track. Let me just let's explain a couple of things here. Right, because the sim track, the three-point link, can separate from the actual main body. This can actually raise and lower. You can raise and lower it yourself. But then obviously you've got the operation for the plough, which you can raise and lower, which you would do normally with a three-point link. But the tractor's also got that thing, which I've got turned off at the moment, because I'm on a slope. If I go to the tractor, like so, and unfold it, it does the tilt thing, so it will tilt on a hillside, which is fine if you want to stay level. However, tilting it like that tilts the plough on the back as well, which I don't want. Weirdly, it pulls better like that. If I do that and put it back to level so it's actually following the field, it doesn't particularly like it. If I now go to the three-point link, I can raise and lower the three-point link. I can bring in and out. I can do all that with it. But if I do all that with it, the plough really doesn't like it. If I go back to the plough and then drop that down, that's raised, that's dropped. When I try to pull away, I get a little bit of... The wheels keep slipping and kind of getting stuck in the wheel arches it's peculiar i don't know why probably again i was warned that these that i may have issues because you've got so many different bits together the sim track which is a mod uh you've got the three point link that goes on the back of that which is a modification attachment on that then a plow that goes to the back of that so all those things all coming together have to work perfectly but you live and learn and that's the thing about it i suppose isn't it Just wondering how much longer we're going to keep the sim track for. I will. I will again. I will speak to uh, speak to the big man. And we'll see. Oh, dropped on way too slow. Right. Let's get this done. And we'll deliver the uh, sunflower. And we'll look at what we're going to do at Max Spread, I think. Film 55 for KJ Wiggums is now ploughed. I've just realised what the time is. Um, I'm going to deliver this up to Baywa. We're going to have to fertilise, uh, uh, well, yes, yeah, bread manure on the next um, episode, I think. We are going to need a cultivator. We're going to need a seeder. We're going to need an IT runner muck spreader. If we can get, I'm sure there is. Oh, is that um, it's the one that Papa told me about, wasn't it? Mine's gone blank. Destroy bullets? No. Yeah, why does that ring a brell? A brell? It rings a brell. Like a bell, but a little bit different. Yeah. Anyway, this road, if I've read the map correctly, will take me right up to Baywa. I think. Um, I'll unload the container, and that'll be collected by KJ Wiggums, because it's his crop. Um, and then we'll crack on with um, the rest of the jobs that are needed for that. We've got more manure to be delivered from James's contract. I don't know when that's going to come. Uh, Jeremy, the uh, harvester guy, once he can get hold of a harvester for us on a trial, and we're only going to be able to trial that on his grandfather's field, that's not going to be a long-term here, have Alexia and you can use it for the next five days type of thing. That's only to use on his grandfather's fields because we're helping him do the harvest. So I think because it's kind of family a family discount type thing that he's going to get a trial on it so we'll be doing that harvest at some point soon i need to get the bales off of field 39 um we need to do the ma the corn maze in the corn field um can't remember what field that is now but anyway right we are at baywa so we'll unload this and they can come and collect it when ready Just has a very tight turning circle. So let's unload that. KJ will collect and then we'll come back and we'll pick up the container once he's done that. Let's just click that. And I will now go and sort out various bits of equipment. But we have come to the end of this episode. Um, like I say, lots going on. I will try to keep the subscriber contracts as straightforward as possible. I know it's not always that easy to follow, but as I say, if you're watching this and this is the first episode you've watched, you might think, I have no idea what's happening. 
honestly I urge you go back to the start of the Let's Play start from episode 1 it will make a lot more sense and there will also be a link uh, on episode 1 and 2 1 or 2 to a video explaining about subscriber contracts what they are and how they work that kind of thing it just makes life a little bit more uh, straightforward that way I think so I will see you on the next one where we've got more jobs to do um, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching